Hey, yeah, man, you're back with Forza Horizon 5. We're just gonna continue doing these events, I guess. I guess you can call them. Uh, this time, we're gonna try and do the gauntlet. I feel like with all of these ones that we've done, that uh, like this one, the gauntlet of fun, which was the Colossus, uh, the gauntlet and the Goliath, I feel like these are the ones that span the entire map. I guess same with the marathon too. I don't know, but uh, I'll I'll do all of them eventually. the The Goliath seems like it actually does span the entire border of the map, but yeah, we're gonna do the gauntlet this time, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be. I mean, we'll probably be, be victorious, but uh, probably gonna try a different car this time, or maybe just stick with the the Supra. The Supra seems to do well. I could also do the Lancer. I don't know why. I, I thought I upgraded this, but it's, it's at 632. Let's do. I guess we can do the F 150 Raptor. If we wanted to. Uh, let's just do. Yeah, let's try something different. Let's try with the F 150. I, I need to change the tuning a bit, though. Hopefully, I can get a custom one. That is probably not going to be as uh, as fast as a Supra, but oh well. The gauntlet. Also, I still want to change the livery up too. Welcome to the gauntlet. Get ready to throw down. Oh, so I can't. So let's quit the race for now, and we'll change. We'll change everything in the map right now. <laughs> it's weird that you can't really do that while you're at the race, but I, I guess it makes sense. So, I'm already in this car, let's tune it up. And we'll find... I guess we can make it to A class. And then, maybe I can change the livery, but uh, we'll just... I mean, unless there's like a good livery to... to do. Can I... Where can I find it in this? Creative Hub, the redesigns. All right, so there's a me. There you can already see the memes. Uh, 101 downloads. Okay. There's a lot of variation. Let's try this. Hopefully, hopefully I can show this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I'll just travel back since I have the house that lets me travel anywhere. I'll just travel back to- Oh, that, that actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> Let's get the- I like how the get design on the bottom left was capitalized. Like, it was it was in all caps. Uh, yeah, at least we, we, we we're gonna race the Ford F-150 in style. Alright. So now we, all we have to do is just travel again to the gauntlet. I mean, I could drive there as well, but... Uh, it's much faster, fast traveling. Let's see this. That seems pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't think I've seen a Hatsune Miku livery on a truck before, but it actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> so let's use the Fun 50. Don't know what to expect in terms of the race, but if it's anything like the one we did before, then it's going to be pretty long. I wish it wasn't like metallically, metallic-y glossy, but more of a matte finish, but uh, maybe if I ever get to make my own, maybe I can do that. <laughs> Alright. So it is not laps, but a distance race. Oh jeez. This is actually going pretty fast. We're already at over 100. I mean, I did get it into the A class, so... The only problem is can I catch up to the top? Oh jeez. Oh, 
Alright, I guess this hand is fine, too, but then again... I wonder if, if had I were to tune this, then... I wonder if it would handle fine, then. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be a long race, we're only 3% done. But at least, like, the last one I see, I think was all roads. This is, this is, this will probably be all dirt, so. Oh, no. I do like that there's enough of a variety that you can have these massive races and have it set to only, like, one type of terrain. Or you can do multiple, but. I wonder if there's a match that, or a blueprint event that someone made that spans every single ro or the majority of the roads in the in this game. That would be an insane race in terms of length and in terms of uh, just in terms of the twists and turns because you'd be going through cities, you'd be going through the volcano, you'd be going through basically everywhere if you're going through the majority of roads, so because there are a lot of roads. Alright. The ultimate clean racing. Slow down to take the turn. So, I mean, I guess uh, it's not entirely all dirt, as you can see here, but there is dirt. Alright, take this turn, get back onto dirt. Ooh. Very scenic. The jungle area. So I feel like... Because I've been playing a lot of the free roam stuff, getting all the stars from the, the traps and all that stuff, but... I feel like the jungle ones are the hardest. Because you need to get to, for some of them, you need to get to point A to point B in a certain amount of time. And in any other case, it would be possible, but there's a, I think there's like a luck element involved for the jungle ones because there are a lot of non-destructible trees and if you hit them, then the chances of getting three stars is has gone out of the out of the window. So it's really, I'd say those are like the harder ones. But maybe maybe it's all dependent on the car. Like I've been mainly doing the just go for a lot of the challenges, but maybe I need like specific types of cars or spe a specific genre. Or maybe, maybe just the specific car in general, other than the Just Go. Alright, 70% done. Oh, this is a sharp turn. I should have drifted it. Dang, that, that person's catching up. That AI is catching up. Alright, let's take this. Maybe I should have. I know there's an achievement to like beat unbeatable Drivatars. Maybe. Maybe I should do that one time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I broke too late. <laughs> Luckily, the damage is only cosmetic. 20%. Fifth of the way. I don't. It probably would be faster if I chose if I made this like S1 or S2. But I feel like that would also made it a lot more harder in terms of control. Oh, that that was good. So I wonder what kind of limitations since I haven't done the blueprints yet. I wonder what kind of limitations there are in terms of creating your own races. 
Because it seems like based off the one I played the other time, you can't add like pinatas and all types of fun stuff. It doesn't have to be strictly races. But I don't think we're gonna get as much uh, fun stuff as you would in like uh, flat out. I think it was flat out. Oh, that is a good view. Time to extend the lead. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh, 26%. A slight left on dirt, so I should break. And I do like that all you have to do for the checkpoints is that just at least touch the flags. It's not a strict you have to be entirely into count. I guess maybe that's like the only way to beat the unbeatable avatars. But take their racing line better than theirs. Because I think they... That they're, they're pretty fast. But they do... Or I guess they don't really take shortcuts. Like they try to stay fully within the... Checkpoint lines, but I still need to play get, play with the those avatars more. All right, about a third done. I know there's like other stuff that I still need to do, like the missions, the story missions, like the the Vocho. And I guess like the stuntman ones. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. <laughs> Even though I have so many hours into this game already, there's there's like so much stuff, which is good. There's a lot of and there's like future DLCs too. Oh, did I make it? Yes. Alright. No, ah. Uh. Oh. I was trying to see the damage. This is very. Uh, this is a technical su suction. So I wonder how much the property damage will, will cost. Because, I mean, even though it gives you points for being destructive, things... I feel like if it was actually happening, people will be less destructive. <laughs> Obviously, they won't be crashing into barriers like I have, but... They also won't be crashing down uh, electrical poles and just signs in general, so... Ooh. Oh, I should have broke early. All right, forty percent, almost halfway. Oh, geez, that was bad. Yeah, like destroying that <laughs> traffic sign. I guess highway sign, road sign. Oh jeez, that's bad. They they can catch up. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, yeah, they can definitely catch up. I, I didn't even see that. It was like just a complete halt. <laughs> oh yeah, like the front's all beat up. Oh, that's bad. I overshot that turn. <laughs> I kind of was expecting a a barrier, but... Oh well, that's what it is. Great drift. Yeah, 
Yeah, this this truck's gonna look so beat up. Yay for uh, not having barriers on all the roads, so I can overshoot things. Oh jeez. So with the money that I've got from all of those wheel spins from before, and then additional wheel spins that I have when I was playing on my own, I bought some of the houses. Uh, some of the more expensive houses, I should say. The one that gives me a daily wheel spin, the one that lets me fast travel into any road, which I feel like is a lot better than trying to fast travel to a, a horizon, uh, horizon place and then driving there, just because there's some areas that you can't really fast if you do that like if you want to get onto the mountain just in case if there was like a dust storm which I still have yet to see <laughs> I, I have the luxury of just warping to the to the mountain and just taking a picture immediately so I still haven't gotten the cheaper houses that doesn't give you any bonuses yet but I will eventually just because there are achievements for it Probably should have drifted that. I'm so far in the lead. Yeah, I should have. I should have upped it to at least above average. But oh well. I assume we're gonna go down the mountain as well. There's yes, there's probably are there probably are races, and if you set the difficulty low enough, where you can actually lap the AI. Obviously, you can't in these types of races where it's just uh, going to point A to point B and there's no laps. But I have yet to lap people in a in a lap race. Just because three three laps is so small <laughs> to uh, gain enough of a lead to lap people, but oh jeez, I think I have two more barns to find too. I don't know what will make them pop up, but maybe they're already popped up. Then I just haven't gotten to them yet. But I thought I've gotten all the ones that I could see on the map. Ooh. Yeah, I barely touched that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, if there was like no barrier there, that would have been... That would just been an automatic rewind. So now we're going up the volcano. Active volcano, I should say. All right, two thirds of the way, basically. Oh, jeez, that was not a full turn. <laughs> Are the berries the same size? I feel like these are smaller, but they can very well be the same size as the ones from before. Oh, hit the checkpoint. Okay, I good. I hit the checkpoint. Okay, let's see where the AI are and when I look oh there 
I'm up gaining an even further lead. And we're already 15 minutes in and only two thirds of the way. And we're basically on top of the volcano now. Yeah, obviously my time, my final time won't be the super best. It probably won't even hit like the top few percentage, probably like the low bottom percentages. But you, you like give it the class and all that. Oh, I feel like I can fall off the mountain very easily. Oh, this is fun though. The, d the downhill dirt section. I feel like if I if I had a better, uh, I'm not better, but a different car, or actually a car rather than a truck, this downhill section would be a lot more fun. Like if I had the Mitsubishi Lancer or the Toyota Supra, I could like take this turn very a lot a lot better. That, uh, that turn was pretty good. Can do a lot of e brake drifting though. We. Oh, this is fun! No, oh, no. Achieve two awesome air skills in three minutes in a single racing event. Okay, at least we're getting accolades. And I wanted to uh, record the Hall of Fame, but I didn't realize that once I drove up to it, it automatically did a cutscene, so... Ooh. Oh, that's, that was a bad turn. Yeah, I feel like if I were in a car, this would have been a lot smoother, <laughs> but... Oh well. I, I said I wanted to try something new, and... Here I am. I don't regret it. Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna hang of this. <laughs> oh, there's another section coming up. I don't know if I have the hang of this at this speed, though. At a, over a hundred. Oh, jeez. The natural banking with the mountainside. Oh, I thought my, my rear would have hit that. Yes, it didn't. All right, 80%. Wow, that whole mountain was, was a pretty big percentage. I didn't even see where this uh, road, the, where the race ends at. Hopefully it doesn't, ra it doesn't end at some random road. Like hopefully it ends at like a place where there's a view or at a horizon event station area. Or maybe it will end in the desert. <laughs> Who knows? Like I couldn't I couldn't zoom out in the in the map. Like you, you can't zoom out to see the entire map area for some reason. You can only see a small section of it in the map. Oh well, it is what it is. Like I knew this was gonna be a long one, but... 20 minutes already. Alright, pavement. I'm so far ahead. 
ultimate clean racing as I hit oh as I lose my combo all right hard left on to dirt so are we going to go on desert get 50 air skills and okay that just fine we are going to go on desert cool Uh oh. Right and seek. What's that? <laughs> Steam just popped up a progression notification of that achievement, right and seek. Oh, get that checkpoint. We're at the last 10% of this race. But I have done this race faster in a car, probably. But, oh jeez. Yeah, it's been damaged already. Luckily it's all cost- I probably should have turned the uh, damage on, like, actual damage, just to see how, how that works in a game like this, since there are no there are no like, there's no repair stations. All right, ninety-three percent. Have I been here before? I think I have. It just looks different because of all the, the barriers and checkpoints. All right, ninety-five. Gonna. Yo, I guess we can go full speed on this road. We won't lose too much ground. I mean, we, we won't go off the road too much. Right, now, now we break. Now we go fast. There are 97%. Oh jeez. So where is this end? I feel like it's ending on a random road. <laughs> like we're gonna end full speed, but we're gonna end at a random road. It's not like even at the the resort or anything. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a pretty long map for the gauntlet. So I think the only thing one I haven't the only one that I haven't done is the Goliath. 2319. Probably, definitely not the best, but. You're unbelievable, you know that? I pulled out all the stops on that one. I really thought I had you. Yeah, and I guess the metallic one, works. Even the locals say you're one of the best they've seen on the dirt, and that's saying something. Another podium finish. If you spend any more time on the festival stage, they'll be asking you to DJ. <laughs> And a spin. So. Better than new. Okay. One fully oh, it's restored now. Dodge Viper ACR for you, if you care to stop by. So where am I? So I guess I'll end this here. And yeah, that was a gauntlet. Next video, I might do the Goliath. Uh, maybe we'll see because uh, there are still, like I mentioned before, I still have these ones that do. But I don't know. Like, it seems like there's multiple chapters based on the accolade. So I don't know how long they are. So yeah, next. Or me. And there's also these ones like Catch Maybe Canyon and. Uh, flood, sweat, and gears. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the gauntlet or the Goliath, because I did the classes. I just did the gauntlet. There's uh, the Goliath left, and I guess the marathon. So a lot of stuff to do, um, which is good. But I wish the 
arcade stuff will be easier to complete, but it is what it is, so. Yeah, this has been another video for Horizon, or Forza Horizon 5. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.